Welcome to Fat Guy Fitness. My name is Sean Flack, the fitness consultant to the plus size model. I started this channel with the mindset to share my fitness journey with anyone wanting a little motivation. I became a certified personal trainer to help with that journey and came to realize that there's more to it than just lifting weights. If you're looking for a little motivation, some education, some reviews on gym related items and having fun all the while, consider dropping a like on the video and subscribing with notifications on. It really helps the channel grow. With all that out of the way, let's get on with the episode. What is up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Versus V1 by Century. Uh, this here is a um, bag that is something I've been looking for for a while. I eventually pulled the trigger on it. Um, I want to kind of give my impressions about the bag. Um, again, I did re read and watch a bunch of reviews on it to kind of have a good expectation about what it was. And there was a lot of misconception of what it was based upon the way it looks. Um, first and foremost, it does look like one of those Wave Masters. You know, it is a Century product, but it looks like one of those heavy bags where, you know, you're going to have a lot of resistance. This is more on the realm of those little boxing hit target um, bags but with this particular design it definitely gives you that feedback it's called a fight simulation bag and the way it moves like you would hit it and move as you can see here in the video I'm hitting it moving hitting it moving I'm not hitting it too hard because if you hit it too hard and you'll see here a little bit in the video um, that it does move and obviously um, here I'm doing uh, combination number one, and so it is, as you can see, a punch and kicking combination. You see how the bag moves and how it reacts. Combination number two, which is two teeps, and then the jab cross kick. You see how it moves like all over the place. The good thing is, is that with this particular bag, um, you could hit high and low. So here I'm kicking it um, with a bunch of low kicks. And as you can see, it's moving off the pad that I put it on. You know, I don't want to put too much force in it because, again, it is going to move. Here, I'm basically kicking it back into place. And again, it does slide and it does move. So it's not a heavy bag, even though it does look like one. Um, the bag is basically has a base. It's filled with sand, so it comes filled. So be advised, it comes in two boxes. It's 110 pounds sand, basically a giant sandbag with a foam um, construction foam tube. Um, what, there's a bunch of different things that I like about it. Like you can see handles at the top. I'm basically be doing some knees. So it's like um, you could clinch it, act like you're clenching as I'm moving it, getting the knees in there. And again, it did come with a card that had a bunch of different um, ways to work with it. If you knew, if you, you know, you had some kind of, oh, there goes Kai. Hi. Hi, baby. And, um, yeah, here comes number two here in a second. But, uh, yeah, we sit here and watch these knees. And they have these grips at the bottom or at the tops. And you can kind of throw these out. Hey, there you go. Um, but you can definitely throw these knees in there. And, um, like I said, it's very versatile. And I wanted to basically show you guys how it moved and how it does look like it's a heavy bag, but it's not really a heavy bag. Um, from here on out, basically like, you know, who do I think this is for? Well, one thing let me add before I end it was I, um, there's, if you can look, there's actually handles on the actual bottom. So you actually could put, um, and I didn't get this on video because it stopped recording by the time I did it. But you could um, put resistance bands on it if you have those resistance bands with the clips. I um, mean, you can put them on the bottom and they'll be good enough for you to do that. Um, and then I added more padding down there and I was trying to do some sit-ups, but I would went swimming the day before. And then like my leg locked up when I was trying to do all that, so I wasn't able to get that on film either. I was a little embarrassing. I probably wouldn't want to put that on there. But anyway... As you can see here, again, this is a great bag for, I mean, I really like it. You know, my final thoughts on it, I really like the bag. Um, again, it has a 110-pound foam base. It's already filled with sand. Um, it's good for a bunch of different strikes. Again, it's not a heavy bag. Yes, it's going to tilt. Um, one thing I did not do is you could actually do a takedown and do ground and pound. So you could, like, tackle it, lift it, drop it down, and then mount it. So you can practice your different ground and pound game. So it's very versatile. It has a bunch of different uses. And again, I personally like it. Again, the main thing is to give you guys 
a good expectation of what it was. And it is mainly um, one of those little bobbing back and forth bags, but then it gives you the ability to throw low kicks, as you can see right there. Has handles on the bottom, has handles on the top to do the knees, do the grappling. And again, if you do a little bit more research into it, you'll definitely see uh, the benefits of it. Again, I do like it. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys like the video. If uh, you brought you any kind of, uh, um, if you learned anything from the video, go ahead, like, subscribe, share. Again, uh, questions, comments, emotional outbursts, leave them in the comment section below. I do get back to everybody or at least respond to everybody. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. And we will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.